All right, here's example two with curve sketching. So um, again, if you didn't see the last video and if you want to copy this worksheet, um, check the video description here and there will be a link so you can click the link, uh, open up the worksheet, print it, save it, whatever you want to do. Um, so let's uh, zoom in here. So example two, uh, the graph of f is given, sketch the graph of f primed. So we're given the graph of a function f and we want to sketch the graph of its derivative. Okay. So. Um, just like in the last video, the important thing we want to remember here, so remember, uh, very, very important to always keep this in mind when you do things with derivatives. Uh, remember, a function is increasing uh, if and only if or exactly when its uh, derivative is positive. Okay? So this double arrow means if and only if. So if this is true, then this is true. Likewise, if this is true, then this is true. In other words, these say exactly the same thing. and. Uh, Likewise, f uh, decreasing is the exact same thing as saying f primed is negative. Okay. So uh, f is increasing exactly when f primed is positive, f is decreasing exactly when f primed is negative. So what we have here is the graph of f, and we can see when f increases and decreases, and that tells us when f primed is positive and negative. Okay. So all we have is the graph of f, and we want to sketch the graph of the derivative. Okay, so it's just going to be a sketch. It doesn't have to be you know, perfect, pretty, or anything, but you know, we just want to get pretty accurate uh, using this uh, fact here. So very important fact to keep in mind. Remember, because derivative is slope, right? So if a function is increasing, it ought to have positive slope, positive derivative. If a function is decreasing, it ought to have negative slope, negative derivative. Okay, so where is f increasing? Where is it decreasing? Well, f increases from here all the way up to here, and then it starts decreasing again, right? So what's happening right at this point here? Uh, let's zoom in a bit on that. Okay. So right at that point, uh, f turns around, changes from increasing to decreasing. So that means there's a horizontal tangent line right there, right? Horizontal tangent line. So that means the derivative uh, is going to be zero. So the derivative is going to touch the x-axis right there, okay? Because uh, the value of the derivative is going to be zero. So the derivative has to go through this point on the x-axis because the derivative must be zero right here. Because at this value of x, um, we see that f has a horizontal tangent line. And if f has a horizontal tangent line here, then the derivative of f must be 0. Okay? Which means the graph of the derivative of f has to touch the x-axis here. And the same thing is happening over here. Okay? So over here, f has another horizontal tangent line okay, right here. So at this same value of x, the derivative of f must be 0. Okay. So uh, it's easy to pick those points out, you know, where the derivative is zero, you know, if the graph isn't too messy and complicated. But anyway, so we have that going on. So uh, here's our graph of f, and we see that f increases this entire time here. Okay. So let's zoom out just a bit. Okay, so f is increasing this entire time. So that means this whole time, the derivative of f, in other words, f primed, has to be positive. Okay. And um, it has to touch this point here eventually. So the derivative of f has to be doing something like this. Now, in case you're saying, well, hold on, the derivative is decreasing, that's OK. That doesn't matter. All that matters is that the derivative, so let's start labeling this uh, f prime. The derivative has to be positive. The derivative has to be positive when f is increasing. And here, f is increasing right here. So the derivative has to be positive that whole time. Then, uh, or, excuse me, here we go. Okay, so f is increasing right here this whole time, so the derivative has to be positive that whole time. Now, the derivative itself may be increasing or decreasing. Uh, that doesn't matter so much. Okay. Uh, there are some things we could say about that, but they're not really relevant for this example, so we'll skip that. I uh, don't want to make it more complicated than it needs to be. Um, so anyway, uh, that's happening over here. Now, uh, here, f has a horizontal tangent line, so f prime must be 0. So that's why we know f prime goes through this point right here. The graph of f prime goes through this point. Now f starts decreasing. Okay? f starts decreasing until it gets another horizontal tangent line. So that means uh, this entire time here, in this entire interval from this x value to this x value, um, the derivative is negative because the function is decreasing. Okay? Since the function decreases this entire time, the derivative must be negative. Okay. So the derivative must be negative here. And we know we have to come back up over here uh, eventually. Okay, we know we have to turn back around at some point over here because uh, the derivative has to equal zero again at this point where f has another horizontal tangent line. Okay, so that's why we know we have to turn this derivative around. 
and go through this point over here, right? So it's, you know, we're not going to keep shooting off this way because the derivative does become zero again at this horizontal tangent line, okay? Now what's happening after that, uh, f increases some more. And remember, uh, f increases exactly when the derivative is positive, so now the derivative just uh, stays positive there, okay? So um, I guess we don't really have to worry about arrows because we weren't given any on the graph, so we don't have to worry about those, so sorry about that. Um, but anyway, that's what's going on here. So the derivative increases that entire time. Okay, so again, uh, or excuse me, the derivative is positive that entire time. Yeah, so be very careful about that. So um, f increases exactly when the derivative is positive, and f decreases exactly when the derivative is negative. So once we finish the graph, you know, we might want to check just to make sure that all match up as we expect it to. So here, um, f increases, the derivative is positive, f decreases, the derivative is negative, okay, that all checks out, and then here f increases and the derivative is positive, and ignore the arrow there. Okay. So that all checks out. So this right here, um, this goofy parabola-ish looking thing, not quite a parabola, but kind of looks like it, um, is the graph of f primed. And that's example two uh, related to curve sketching.